Well, ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's The Wolf Among Us. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder, you are awesome. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and see where the new episode's going to take us. Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever yes. since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like... It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Uh, Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. True. True enough. Considering her backstory, yeah. It is going to be kind of a rough one for her. I said they burned the bodies, so... I'm guessing look for the smoke. special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about 
what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for, um, pageantry. And most of all, I'll it miss seems worrying how about you. Lily I'll loved, miss our fights. Dearly loved I'll miss her you. friends and family. Holly. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily. Now you will never from die from indifference or lead a tedious life. Heart Goodbye, sweetheart. To be here tonight. Thanks for everything. And now we'll have our Vivian. Moment of silence. Thank you. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town. And I miss you already. Gren. Digby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise what? me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I didn't throw anybody down the witching well. True. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So talk. You know what? Sick him on Crane. Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Actually, she kind of probably Don't does. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah. They can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy, he gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily. And making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is, I don't even know what to say right now. You might I want to mention really that there don't. were photographs of him I'm there. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it, to not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. 
Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, coming! Yeah, we're gonna stay out of this. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. I mean, that wasn't right, telling everyone our dealing. If Holly and Grin decide to go after you. What did I tell you? What <clears throat> did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Ah. I got it done! Yeah, see, your brother's not around to sucker punch me this time. they managed to drop a troll with a single shotgun around. What did they use to stop Holly like that? Trolls don't go down that easily. Especially, I mean, we're talking about fables here, like we saw the woodsman literally get an axe buried in his skull, and he was fine. 
What? What on earth? Or I guess what in Fable Town could have taken a troll with a single shot? And I mean, Grin was a tough bastard too, whatever kind of monster he was. What could he have taken him with a single hit? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. I was right. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Grin is Everything short for Grindel, as in Grindel and Beowulf. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. He smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Anytime. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of you, personal. You just did, but sure, go and for it. I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, Stop pretending? Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... 
It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I, I mean... saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. <laughs> There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, new glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spin my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake.
Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the Can we just chuck this guy down, down the well? That's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Oof. No. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. We're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, call it here. This episode is already running much longer than it should have. Uh, Bluebeard, I kind of vote for him to get tossed down the well. Not gonna lie, he's. He's not doing much to endear me to him. Let's let's phrase it like that. Don't know what he's from, but I'm not a fan of him. The Tweedledee Tweedledeum, like I just I don't feel like I mean they don't work for Crane, it seems like. They're working for somebody behind Crane. So I doubt they would know anything, and I doubt they'd have anything written down in their office. Lily's stuff seems like a long shot, but maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a future video, right? So if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlord happy. If you want to find out you know, if I made the right choice, if we're going to track this guy down or not, well, you need to be subscribed. That way you know when new videos go live. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.